I'm torn. I wanted to be, I wanted to, you know. All right, Holly, how you been? I've been okay. What's been going on with you? I see you don't have your walker anymore. I have my walker. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, I don't have a walker. Um, it, my leg just kind of got better. It stopped hurting as bad. It, I still have a lot of pain, a lot of pain with it. Um, walking and stuff, for a long, especially for a long time, it hurts. But it definitely got better than what it was. Like, I can actually walk. Um, you know, I've been trying to walk upright because, you know, it's um, easy to start walking like, you see everybody walking like this and stuff. And, um, and I, I try to be conscious of that, like, and put, push my, you know, walk upright. Yeah. But anyway, so be, I am doing better with that for sure. Um, but it's been pretty much the same. I mean, it really is just. What's your living situation right now? I actually stay in an RV. So it's like not on the street, at least it's out of the cold. Yeah. Um, so it's, um, you know, but it's still like hard because there's not running water, or, um, you know, electricity. So you got to kind of live off the land type thing, but it's, um, it's right next to everything though. So it's good. It's, it's good where it's at because I can walk. You, you need know. to get yourself a generator or something. Yeah, we have a generator too. We just got to keep the money so we can keep it running. You know um, they have the solar generators, right? Yeah, but I those heard of them. Those things are super expensive. Yeah, I heard about them, but I, I don't, I don't have one. But, but yeah, it's okay though. It's not. It was better than before. I was just living, you know, more on the street, so it's definitely better than before. And I'm around people who are actually good. Um, you know, they kind of feel somewhat like a not a family because they never. It's never, never be like my family, but, but it's somewhat like that. I know they care about me. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I've gained, you know, some pretty good friendships with the people that are there. Um, nothing like, you know, what I believe a friend should be. You know, it's hard to be, you know, it's hard to be a uh, friend to anybody. Like, you know, uh, addiction is going to take place over everything, your addiction. So that's definitely going to cause problems in relationships. But. But for the most part, they're definitely the most solid people I've met since I've been out here. It's been really hard to find um, just a friend, literally. Like, it's so hard to find somebody that will just be who they say they are. Like, just true to what they say. Like, just say what they mean, mean what they say. You know, their word means something, you know. Not switch up on you, you know, or be petty. Things like that, you know. Kind of just put you before them, you know. You really don't find that out here at all. Like, it's very foreign. And um, so I'm thankful for that. So last time I talked to you, you were living at an apartment, right? Oh yeah, they got evicted. So, I mean, that was a long time ago. They, yeah, they got evicted. And actually they were petty. I thought that they were actually two women that I would have thought were my friends, you know, but they actually um, definitely, definitely weren't. I'm sorry, I'm all drooling and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, no, they actually did some petty stuff, and, and like right when I was about to like come get pick up my stuff from their their house because they were needing to get you know everything out. Um, they're gonna give all my stuff away to some random female like that they knew their friend or whatever, like everything. And, and that was stuff that I worked hard for, like I bought, you know, not stuff that was given to me, but you know stuff that I bought that you know, and, and so that just upset me, devastated me actually because it's all I have, you know. Um, but yeah, they got rid of all of it. So I was extremely upset, but that was pretty much it. There's, there's, I don't know, I don't know where they went. I don't have no idea what happened. But um, since then, I've been on the street uh, until about probably like a couple weeks ago. I came up on the situation I'm in now, um, which they're like I said, they're good, they're good, good influences somewhat. You know what I mean? Like uh, especially for the streets. Um, so it's hard. We both have not made a decision to go yet. We're not gonna. It's not like we have to go together, but we just uh, try to encourage each other to go. And it seems like you know something always pops up, and I don't know. Like I was gonna go. I just called them on Saturday. I called Vogue, which is a detox place, and um, they had a bed available. And they were like, "So you're gonna come? You got two hours to get here?" And, and I didn't go. And so all I can say is that I just gotta pray that that it, you know, comes sooner than later when I just finally 
make a decision just to go. Because I know that when I do something, I gotta, I do it. I do it for real. I don't half-ass it. Like, I do it wholeheartedly. And I give 110%. Like, and I know that, like, I just, I know I'll never be ready, per se, like, to go. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I, 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 I know that, I don't know, I just don't want, I'm, I'm not a bullshitter. And I don't want to bullshit anybody, myself or anybody, you know? And when I go, I want to go. I want it for real. Be done. Next chapter, open the book. The next chapter starts. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and I feel like it's just for some reason I'm not at that place yet. And I don't want it to take something bad because it's been bad. It's been so bad. Like, same crap. Like, you know, I could tell you, you know, but it's it's, been, it's like a fucking Groundhog's Day. You just over and over again experience the same thing every day. But for me, it's been very bad out here. Like, extremely bad. Like. I have experienced like probably the worst pain I've ever experienced other than besides not having my children. Like that's probably the worst absolute pain yeah. I've had. Let's right out here. An interview? An interview? Yes ma'am. With who? As in with one of these establishments? No. No. Wait, no. Yeah, I can't have you guys back here then. Okay, you can just it tell us. It happens. Okay. This always happens. Okay. All right, All right it's nothing wrong. Right it's Are you security? Is, yeah, I am security. What is this, like a YouTube video or something? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys can do it off property, that's fine. Okay. But you guys gotta go. Okay, thank you. All right, chill, man. Now what? Just chill, man. What do you mean chill? By all means? Just chill, man. You don't have to be, like, aggressive or anything like that. Okay. Like, you told us that to move on, and that's it. That's fine. All right. But you're still video recording, right? I haven't caught your face. But if you want me to, I will put you on there. By all means, do. Stop. Why are you being like that? Come well, That's fine, I'm doing mine. I told you I was leaving, so you should have just dropped it right there. We were leaving, but she wants to make it a bigger issue. Then go ahead. And I told you I was leaving. Okay. I'm doing that should have been enough. No, you didn't say you were leaving. Yes, I did. Continue to do it. I have the video here to prove it. By the way, you can record in public all you want, just in case you, you don't know your yeah, rights. This is a private property. Right. This is Hispanic, 230 pounds. He has a black hat on, a gray shirt that says Puma, black pants, and white and black Nike. And I told you I was leaving. Yes, I did. I asked him again. I told you I was leaving. She's lying. I told her I was leaving. She's blocking my way right now. She's not moving her car. So, yeah, if I haven't left, it's because of you. No, because you're recording. You're blocking me. No, this is private property. You're not going to record me. Okay. So when the cops come, they can That's fine. Off. That's fine. That's fine. No, I'm not. No, he's standing here recording me, too. You're blocking my way. I no, can't leave. I'm not, sir. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. He can literally turn out like he came and turned in. And he just not to. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you on YouTube.